Hello mga ka GVkers at ka mailers. Welcome back again to my vlog. This time, the group 2 will express their thoughts and opinions to our topic on the roles of media in fostering an information society. So as the importance of literacy in media and information to a democratic country and they will also give an example or examples of the power of media and information to affect change. So please check this out. Hi guys, my name is Usama and today my question is what is media liter literacy? Media literacy encompasses the practice that allow people to access, critical, evaluate, and create or manipulate media. The US-based National Asso Association for Media Literacy Educa Education defines it as the ability to access, analyze, evaluate, create, and act using all form of communication. So for number one, here we have all media messages are constructed. So this is pretty much self-explanatory since us the users are the ones who are creating messages or text that we want to be sent to the public. So for number two on the other hand, media messages are constructed through using creative language with its own rules. So basically what it means is that we all have our own specific ways of sending texts or languages, I mean, on how we send our texts. Like number one, here we have slam, the use of slam. This is especially essential to us, well, more likely the millennials, as this is where we, we would be able to develop various languages or various words that helps both individuals understand each other to another level. For number three, here we have different people experience the same media message differently. So what does it mean? It means that there are various people who won't understand or who won't get the same idea that the sender has on his or her message. It means that it can be interpreted very differently through the receiver's point of view. That's pretty much it. So number four, here we have media have um, embedded values and points of view. So what does it mean? This is just where, here it explains how media shows who is important and what is important in that specific message that the sender himself or herself sends the message to. So this can actually be useful especially for co commercials, televisions, and shows as this can show who or what is really important when showing that specific subject. So last but not least, here we have number 5. Most media messages are organized to gain profit and or power. So basically this just, just, just saying that media has been very essential to our government as this is where people who have businesses, this is where they can sponsor their specific product in order to gain profit. But not only that, the government could be able to use this as this is where they can spread their ideals or ideas towards people that they cannot reach. Because this is where the word power comes in through. So that's pretty much it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And um, yeah. Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about the characteristics of media literacy. First one is the understanding of the process of mass communication, which is how messages are being sent through channels like radios, TV, social media, and print. The second one is the strategy of analyzing and discussing media messages. We all know that messages have meaning. 
For example, when a person says, I love you, he or she could either say this verbally or through text or written on a paper. We still have to think what these words mean. It may be a romantic phrase, pero yun pala, he meant, I love you as a friend. Yun pala, di ka crush ng crush mo, di ka mahal ng crush mo, char. <laughs> the third one is, the ability to enjoy, understand, and appreciate media content. Like videos, live streams, blogs and articles, contests and giveaway, etc. The last one is the development of effective and responsible production skills. Media can like help you discovering your own skills or it's either you got influenced by others. And that is all what I have for today. Thank you so much. Hey guys, so we're going to talk about the importance of literacy in media information to a democratic society. So media has given political parties the tools to reach large numbers of people and can inform them on key issues ranging from politics to elections. So in theory, media should have been seen as an enabler for democracy. Having better educated voters would lead to a more legitimate government. Politics have been causing more of a disturb in media, making media literacy more of an important factor in one life. Without media literacy, people's minds are easily shaped by the constant manipulation of political messages. They are more vulnerable to being manipulated and misled from the truth. Thus, media literacy is necessary for people to take their positions as citizens. So, a media democracy advocate first, replacing the current corporate media model with one that operates democratically rather than for profit. Second, strengthen public service broadcasting. Third, incorporating the use of alternative media into the large discourse. Fourth, increasing the role of citizen journalism. Fifth, turning a passive audience into active participants. And lastly, using the mass media to promote democratic ideas. So that would be all for my topic. See you next time. Bye. There are many opportunities and challenges that can be faced through media and information. What are some examples that you can get from media and information? Here are some examples. First, we have job hiring opportunities. Many job opportunities can be found online and through the media. Sites like LinkedIn can aid in finding these job opportunities. Next, we have freedom of expression. Many people can use social media as a way to express themselves, be it through art, poetry, writing, opinions, and many more. For example, illegal content, specifically age-inappropriate content. Age-inappropriate content can be exposed to young children. A huge challenge we can all relate to is spending too much time on social media. It promotes laziness, procrastination. We might get sidetracked and forget our purpose when conducting our research. That is all. Thank you. The power of media to affect change. Media, a versatile tool used to keep society well informed as well as being used for spreading information for people's personal professional and educational growth. Whether we like it or not, media is a universal tool which influences us in all aspects of life. So according to Bartley Research, media performs three functions which is to inform, influence, and to entertain. Inform is used for a plethora of different topics, ranging from educational to pure news about society. Influence is to spread information and knowledge for the growth of a certain individual, a group of individuals, a business, or a corporation. And to entertain is anything from the internet to your TV's YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, and a cornucopia of TV shows. In terms of the power that media has to affect change, it, it is limitless in nature. Considering the fact that media is literally everywhere you turn to these days, doesn't take an Einstein to realize that media is a staple or a norm in how we live. All it takes is a simple click of a link, a view on your TV screen, a gander at your Facebook wall, on your Twitter feed perhaps. Change comes with the use of media. When the populace sees, sees information about anything, it doesn't take long for change to take effect. 
Examples being this so-called cancel culture. Simply talking about a certain individual's wrongdoings is enough for the entire world to come crashing down on this person and ruining their entire career. Likewise, with how easily music spreads, if an artist piques the interest of a certain demographic of people, it, w- it won't take too long for the artist's music to go mainstream and boom worldwide. Media is a powerful tool that is unknowingly used by everyone on a daily basis and has become used by a variety of people ranging from as early as 3 years of age to anyone above 75. It's no question then that it is craved by everyone. The importance of media literacy to the students. I asked my cousin if kung ano nga ba ang kahalagan ng media literacy para sa students. Then, he spoke of her favorite TV anchors and then went on to imitate various radio jockeys to the young mind, media stands for glamour, larger than life events, a world of movie actors, sports stars, and all popular celebrities making a statement on TV, print, radio, and of course, who can have the influence of Facebook, Instagram, and other social media channels. Media literacy becomes a moral obligation for educational institution to help the young minds develop and inform and critical understanding of the nature of mass media. The technique used by them and the impact of these techniques, the main objective is that the future generation should be able to analyze, interpret, and understand the content published by the media, and not get missed. It often happened that popular Facebook posts, viral video become the base of information which may have been created by someone who may not have the correct or complete information and we tend to overlook the real information. The authenticity of the source is missed. Exactly what media literacy will help in addressing. The student will be more informed in terms of deciphering the correct content. The most important benefit is that, kindless the power of inquiry, students become more aware and have better navigational skills, analyze the content, and extract what is relevant. When translated into the classroom learning as intracurricular approach, it helps in sharpening the ability of students to apply their critical thinking to a new situation and motivates them to perform better in other subjects. Personality development and confidence building are natural takeaways from media literacy program. The power of media literacy is the ability to inspire, independent, thinking foster critical analyze and make wise choice. That's all. Thank you. Hey Mailers, it's Laika and today we are back with our fifth vlog and now I am going to talk about how powerful media is. We all know that media has changed from pictures and writings from the wall transitioning all the way to technology. But not only has media changed itself, but it also changed us. Media is powerful because it provides information and education. Information can come in different forms. It may sometimes be difficult to separate from entertainment. Without media, we are incomplete. Like for example, we won't be able to contact our friends or families. We might not be able to know what is happening around the world. We might not be able to learn new things from other people. We won't be entertained or be enlightened by people who are talented in like jokes or in, you know, comedy. And we might not be able to develop. That is why media is the best thing that is that has ever happened to us and I might not be able to share how powerful media is without media. So I, I know you get the gist. This is basically why media is powerful. So on to the next. Hi guys, my name is Osama and today my question is what is the PowerPoint form of media? Our world is more and more a single information society and television as the world most powerful medium of communication is a key part of that society. Television can be a tremendous force for good. It can educate great numbers of people about the world around them.
Hey guys, it's Vu. Today I'll just be discussing with you all how does media affect this one specific issue. And um, yeah, let's go. Okay, so first, what is this specific issue? How did media change it? Well, let's talk. Okay, so this issue actually happened during last year of May regarding about George Floyd and his death due to racial discrimination. So during those times, Media had already been very effective as it as the person who had videoed or showcased the video to the public, it was able to spread awareness to everybody, to all races. So media had already been super effective as it had been spread to news articles, television, radios, blogs, vlogs. There is a lot. Media has really helped us spread these specific problems that is happening in our government. Not only in our government itself, but in everybody else's government as well. Their environment, their communities. This helps us show how much racism is going on in our world. So, that's one, that's one of the effectiveness of media itself. Well, that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. Let's start with the characteristics of a media literate individual. To me, a media literate individual is open minded. They are someone who stays updated and recognizes that the media tends to give a constructive view on reality. They have the ability to access, analyze, evaluate, create, and act using all forms of communication. Now, let's move on to the characteristics of an information literate individual. An information literate person is able to recognize and complete information. They develop an appropriate search strategy and evaluate information. The most important characteristic is the use of information in critical thinking and problem solving. It is important to be literate in both media and information because it enables us to make well-informed decisions as well as become skillful creators that are able to convey messages properly. That is all. Thank you. Next, we're going to talk about the uses and component producers of media and information. Everyone has the right to be a user and to share their own knowledge about media and information. Characteristics of component producers are Describe how communication is affected by media and information Identifies the similarities and differences of media literacy and technology And lastly, editorialize the value of being a media information literate individual But not everyone is applicable in producing media information because we should at least contain the following. First one is a responsible user and competent producers of media information should have positive thinking. Second, respecting the comments of others. And lastly, the third one is to help to inform both students and adults. Also, a user should only state facts and truth about particular information. A responsible user should not post anything that contains false news or issue. The overall implications of media and information to an individual. First, personally. So, we as human beings are no strangers to media. And with media comes information. The two go hand in hand like a sandwich has bread on both ends. It's no surprise then that these two things revolve around our daily lives. One very broad example is social media. It helps us keep in touch and communicate with long distance relatives, friends, co-workers, or better yet, to get to know and meet strangers for whatever reason. Encompassing all this is the back and forth of information, be it information with meaning or not. It could be a simple conversation with your friends about where you would like to eat later in the day, or maybe a transaction with an online seller, or you're con conversing with your boss and or co-workers co about your work-related work issues and ideas. So all in all, Media and information, when it involves our personal lives, is important with this simple reason. The impact of media on education and society. In today's world of connected learning, the impact of social media on education is becoming a driving factor. The world is getting smaller. And through the use of technology, such as social media, the way we deliver instruction is changing. Social media and education can complement one another if utilized effectively. A technology referred to here really transpired just social media technologies such as Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat.
The technologies that allow these platforms to function are also one of the driving forces behind the impact of this te technology and education. There are positive and adverse effects of social networking to students, and the jury is still out concerning the long-term effect of social media exposure may have. Social media and education are not historically allies, and many educators see social media as determined to real learning. This is changing as the cloud-based nature of social media for collaborating on projects is growing into a pertinent and useful technology. Facebook has the ability to create rooms and video chat with invitees. This is a great for students project which really upon successful collaboration as the global pandemic shut down many face-to-face -face interactions. For example, video presentation platforms such as Zoom, Skype, Google Hangouts, or Web Video conferencing, conferencing such as Cisco WebEx have allowed instruction to be delivered across great distances. No longer it is necessary for a faculty member to be in the same room as, a, as the students. This technology has given rise to the flipped classroom model and changed the way knowledge is conveyed to students. Faculty today be more technologically savvy than any generation previously as the students, not only prepare communication through these mediums. They, as, they expect it. The adaptation of social media in everyday life is one of the driving forces behind this changing expectation and how social media is changing education. What is the impact of social media on students? The advantage, it increases student collaboration, improved participation, content-rich resources, useful for term projects. The disadvantage, students' distraction be become an issue. Second, lack of control for inappropriate content. Last is, relying on social media for all contacts. There have been studies on the adverse impact of social media on people's brain. And this adverse effect not only have an impact on social media in education, but it also has an impact on society as a whole. This is one of the main negative effects of this technology and education. First, you may spend ma more money than al alteration on appetite, inability to think independently, and self-esteem issues. Many people have found that they feel more lonely as a result of social media. This is especially true a younger people such as a students who, who, get, who have grown up with social media platforms. Since people are communicating more and more through electronic means, they tend to have a harder time interacting with people in the real world. They can chat online with ease, but not when it comes to face-to-face -face communication. That's the negative effect of the media on the society. Thanks for watching. Ayan, ayan mga ka GVkers at Camillers, you just heard the opinions and point of views of the group 2 about our topics in media and information literacy. So if you want to express your thoughts and opinions too, please use the comment down below and don't forget to ring the notification bell for my latest videos. And don't forget also to subscribe. As I usually claim, subscribe now, laugh, and learn later. Once again, ito na lang po ang inyong gurong vlogger ng Kuwait. Nagsasabing, God bless you all, and always keep safe.